The Puerto Vallarta art scene is incredibly alive and well here. And unfortunately, a few years ago, Puerto Vallarta lost one of their favorite sons, but he wasn't from here, right, Kathy? No, he was from France. He starts to paint when he was seven years old, you know, and he loved to paint and his, even his family always uh, was behind him. And, uh, and when he arrived, I think the first really professional thing he did, it was in Saint-Tropez when he first moved there. And then after, he just wanted to see the world. That's, I think, now you can see in his paintings. You know, he went to Africa, to Asia. When he landed in Puerto Rita, he said that's where he wants to live. The piece, here in this house, he found the, the, the piece he needed to paint. And even the people living with Mexican is very special. And I mean, it was very, it was very special to live here in Puerto Vallarta. That's how he, his art grown. He could paint everything Mexican, market scenes and uh, the, the children's uh, animals. What's the one I liked the most? It was titled... Ah, The Good Life. The Good Life. The Good Life. That's a special one. He liked yes. The Good Life. I would have gotten yes. along with him. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure you would do, yes. This is a lovely tribute. Yes, yes. Tell us about this. I wanted something special for the kids, especially for the kids, you know, like to always try not to be... Uh... I'm going to get emotional. It's okay. Yes. I don't want them to, to forget their father, you know, so it was one of the way and uh, for them to always think about him. Well, we're very yeah. honored that you shared this with us. I ah, wish we could have met welcome. him, but his artwork lives on and yes. will forever. He was very, very well, um, I mean, very loved here in Vallata. Everybody misses, miss him. Yeah, I was him. hoping. Yes. Thank you very much. You're welcome.